I have your blood test results, and uh, I'm afraid you have type 1 diabetes. What is type 1 diabetes? Um, well, listen, here's a video that'll help you understand. Diabetes is a group of diseases that result in too much sugar in the blood. There are three types, but today we are going to focus on type 1. Type 1 diabetes is also known as juvenile diabetes because patients are born with it and tend to develop it during childhood. Diabetes affects the pancreas, an organ located in the upper abdomen behind the stomach. In healthy people, the pancreas produces insulin, which acts as a key in the insulin receptors of cells, opening the door to allow glucose out of the bloodstream and into the cells, lowering blood sugar levels. In people with type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce insulin, therefore preventing glucose from entering the cells. As a result, their blood sugar levels are too high. Symptoms of diabetes may include blurry vision, excessive thirst, excessive urination, hunger, and fatigue. It can also cause significant weight loss. So, I'm going to refer you to an endocrinologist, okay? An endo what now? Um, well, it's a doctor. Um, a doctor? Aren't you a doctor? Yes, but I'm your primary care physician, and I diagnose you, and they actually, they're a doctor that specializes in hormones, and they'll help you um, manage your blood sugar levels, and they might prescribe insulin, okay? So, I'm, I'm gonna, and you have to watch what you eat from now on, okay? Okay. How do I know what I can eat? Well, um, okay, so I'll just... I'll refer you to this friend of mine who's a nutritionist, and she'll be able to help you um, manage your diet so that you know what to eat, okay? And here's a video uh, recommending things that you should eat, okay? When you are a diabetic, it is especially important to take care of your diet so health problems don't arise. If a strict diet isn't followed, chances of diseases like heart disease and blindness can occur, so it is very important to talk to a nutritionist or dietitian about what the limitations of your diet is. Having fiber intake will help diabetics because it does not affect blood glucose. The fiber in whole grain bread or an apple will not affect your levels because fiber is not digested by the body. So, um, would you like to see a video that can help you manage your diabetes? Yeah, that'd be great. First and foremost, diabetics produce little to no insulin, which rises blood sugar content much easier than a person without diabetes. It is important to realize that anything containing fats, lipids, sugars could be detrimental to your health and must be avoided. Table sugar, honey, jam, cakes, ice cream, etc. should be put in your diet sparingly. Furthermore, you should have three well-balanced meals a day and maybe a snack at night. These meals should contain mostly carbs and proteins, but still do select variety from time to time because all nutrients are needed for the body. To reduce fat intake, one can bake, broil, and grill their foods, or they can use low-fat food. But on top of keeping a healthy diet, it is crucial to stay active because glucose levels will improve over time if your body is healthy and in good shape. Especially if you are overweight, it is important to lose weight, even if it is by a small amount, because that small change could make a drastic difference in the way your body processes glucose, and again, it will improve with time. One last thing to take into account is blood sugar monitoring and self-management for your diabetes. It is important to stay on top of your blood sugar content every day to make sure that nothing is out of place before and after eating. When people are diagnosed with diabetes, they are given blood sugar meters with blood sugar sticks. The desired results of the meter depend on your type of diabetes, age, and state of overall health. Regardless of how you manage your diabetes through diet and exercise or combined with oral medicines and insulin, the meter gives immediate feedback on how your diet and exercise is working with your body. People with type 1 should generally test 6 to 7 times a day. However, that's often impractical because of time and resources. But be sure to stay on top of your blood glucose levels so health problems don't arise.